Who's got it better than us? No way! What's up, everybody? I'm JT Magnum, and welcome to Niner News. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk about the score. 13-10 St. Louis Ram victory over the San Francisco 49ers. And it was a tough game to watch. Oh, it was a tough game to watch. Um, I'm not going to talk about the refs yet. I'm going to talk that. I'll talk about that at the end because uh, Jerome Boger. <laughs> I I am not a fan of Jerome Boger. Never been a fan of Jerome Boger's, and we'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, let's talk about the game. 49ers play calling was just absolutely horrendous. Horrendous to begin the game, horrendous during the game, and the only time it actually got good was at the end. And it was just, it's just typical Greg Roman bullcrap play calls. I don't know why people think that he's so good. I, I just, for the life of me, I can't figure out why it is that this team still loves Greg Roman. I, I don't think he's a genius. I think he's a dummy. Just a flat out, just dumb. He doesn't know what he's doing with the players that he has. He doesn't know what he's doing with his personnel. We're a run-oriented team. But this guy can, continues to just want to throw the ball constantly. He just wants to throw it in all different kind of ways. And we're not built for that. Cap, they just keep blitzing Cap. And Cap, it just hasn't been reading the blitzes correct. He doesn't get rid of the ball fast enough. He holds on to it a little bit. And then he takes sacks. And... Eight sacks with a running quarterback, and that offensive line is just inexcusable. It's inexcusable, and they gotta they gotta fix it. It's four; and, they're four and four now. They gotta fix it. In my mind, they should be seven and one. I the only loss being the Bronco loss because obviously that was just Peyton Manning's night. So <laughs> you know that was just how it was. But these losses are just these losses that were taken are just stupid, and. And just the way that it played out, I mean, we should have blown out the Rams. The Rams weren't that good. They had 105 yards passing from their quarterback. They barely got any rushing yards. They did nothing. But yet, for some reason, they hung around the game because of an offense that just couldn't, they just didn't want to play offense. I, I, I can't get it. I, I don't get it. For the life of me, I don't get it. Maybe you guys can tell me. I don't know. They don't know how to use Frank Gore and Carlos Hyde. They wouldn't run any screen plays. If a team is throwing the house at you almost every freaking down, you run screen passes. That's what every other NFL, 30, what, there's 32 NFL teams? 31 other NFL teams run screen passes when people are blitzing. Everybody knows that. Did they run one screen pass? I think they ran one. Let me rephrase that. One. <laughs> How do you not run screen passes? I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. For the life of me, I do not get it. The play, cock, play clock management, absolutely hor horrendous. For some reason, I, I don't know why Cap, or it doesn't matter who's in the offense. It's Greg Roman's offense. I don't know. For some reason, they never get the play calls enough. I guess Greg Roman calls the plays. He gives it to Harbaugh. Harbaugh calls it into to, um, Cap and, and what whatever. But for some reason, it takes forever to get to the plays. I don't know if he has this crazy verbiage in the plays. I don't know what's going on. But it just seems like the Niners always line up, and they can't get adjusted. And next thing you know, Cap has to take a timeout, or we get to delay a game penalty. It happens constantly. It is the most annoying thing to watch. Or they're, they're in a two-minute offense, and they're wasting like 20, 30 seconds and you constantly hear an announcer saying, what are they doing? Like, line up already. Get going. What is? Where is the sense of urgency on, on a two-minute drill that you can't figure out how to line up and how to get a play call in and how to snap the ball so that the play, so that the, you, you have seconds left? I mean, every other team seems to do it right, but the 49ers just never have ever been able to grasp the concept of a freaking play clock and time management. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why. For the life of me, I don't know why. So, in a, in a sense, they lost. And to me, they actually won because they actually won twice yesterday without, and but still lost. I, and I'll explain that in a second. But they deserve to lose. 
you give up eight sacks, you run, you you give up on the run, and you start passing the ball all over the place when you don't need, when you shouldn't even be passing. And you don't run screen plays when people are are blitzing you, or you don't run you don't run uh, slant patterns when people are blitzing you, or you don't read the slant patterns fast enough while people are blitzing you. You deserve to lose, and the Niners deserve to lose yesterday, despite, in my opinion, actually winning the game twice. And I'll explain that. The referee. Let's get to the referee. And there's only there was a lot of bad calls yesterday. The safety was missed. I, that had to be a safety. I'm sorry. And there was a, a couple bad calls that actually went towards the Niners yesterday that the Rams were cheated on. And it's the, it's Jerome Bulger. He is the worst referee in the NFL. By far. The worst referee in the NFL. He refed the Super Bowl in <laughs> Super Bowl 47 for the, for the Niners and Ravens. Where the Ravens, he missed, I believe it was 9 or 10 calls. I did a video on it a long time ago. I ended up deleting it because I was so... Just annoyed with that with that whole situation, but but I showed in that video nine penalties that he missed nine, <laughs> and I mean visual complete visual complete evidence. I mean video evidence. I showed it all, and I mean I broke it down to a T how many how many plays he that crew missed that day, and it's him, and he is just one of the absolute worst referees I have ever seen in my entire life and he just can't it's like he doesn't even know the game and and that's what makes me more even even more mad is that these refs this year just seem like they don't even know what's going on or what to call it's just like all hearsay now and it's just like everything everything's inconclusive or everything's this it doesn't it doesn't work or, or, or I called it this so since I called it this way it's gonna stand you know what it's gonna stand and and the three things that that, that pissed me off the most the safety first the safety because they called that play or whatever how they called the play and because they called it they didn't want to go back on the call when it was they said it wasn't clear bull crap you could see that the dude was over the line when he got tackled he went back over the line and, and when the guy hit him he, he was over the line he got tackled in the end zone it's a safety should have been a safety i mean it was pretty it was pretty darn clear to me i saw it but whatever the next play the play that nobody's really even talking about. The crab tree catch right on the goal line that set up the uh, the goal line stand that the that Caps fumble. That play before that, he caught the ball with I believe it was 34 or 33 seconds left in the game. And he caught the ball and went out of bounds. First of all, he caught the ball with the ball coming over the goal line when he, when it went into his hands. He fell down with the ball over the goal line. Now, he caught the ball. Ready? He caught the ball with the ball over the goal line. Touchdown. It should have been a touchdown. They should have called it because it's always forward progress from where he catches the ball. Not from where he falls with the ball. It's where he catched the ball. He caught the ball there. They ruled it a catch. They reviewed it and ruled it a catch. So, therefore, he should have got the touchdown, but they didn't call it. And he went out of bounds without being touched. He, he slid right out of bounds. And they called him in bounds. And they said that he was touched or whatever. And he was in bounds. But when they reviewed it, they said, oh, he made the catch. And they said, we're not putting seconds on the clock. When and where, when and how does a referee say, oh, and we're not adding seconds on the clock? He almost said it like a spite. Like, it, like because they were saying, they were arguing that he caught the ball and didn't get touched out of bounds. And they and he almost said like in a spite like you know what he made the catch but we're not putting we're not putting time for you on the clock it was bullcrap they let 14 seconds go off the clock and then they had to run to the line of scrimmage and do the you know do the snap which cap fumbled the ball initially grabbed the ball crossed the goal line then fumbled again but the point is he crossed the goal line he crossed the you could see him over the line he said he was over the line. I could see that he was over the line because you could see at the point where he went in sideways that he, you know, if you judge by the point where he lost the ball, when you see the replay and he's like in the front and where he lost the ball and you judge the part where you see him go sideways, then you know that relation from where he lost it there to wherever he was over the goal line. It's so easy. To me, it's, I don't know why it's easier for me to see, but they didn't want to go back on their call because the referees, and you know, that's what referees do. They don't want to go back on their call. They're going to say, oh, we made the right call. Bullcrap. You blew it twice. So, I don't know what Jerome Bulger has against the 49ers. I don't know what his deal is, but he is the absolute worst referee I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm tired of him refing 49er games. Now, this is just, you know, coming from a 49er fan, 
And I know probably a lot of you share the same anger. But at the same time, like I said, the 49ers should have made the plays to win the game to begin with and not have to come down to that stupid last sequence of plays and let a ref determine the game, which is what the Niners need to stop doing. Stop playing games close. Just start trying to blow out teams. Run the ball down their throats. Kill them when you need to. Stop going for field goal attempts. Stop doing this crazy, stupid, uh, conservative offense at the end of the games when you're already beating people. Just beat the living daylights out of teams if you're going to do it. Stop messing around. And then at the end of the game, if you lose it on a, on a ref call, then you have to blame a ref for the game. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm mad, yes, I'm mad at the refs, but I'm also mad at the 49ers for not playing a good game and not, and not having a good game plan, executing a game plan, and then not being able to block a Rams team that came into the game with six sacks on the year and get eight in the game. you got to be kidding me. Like, you have to be kidding me. They have to play better. You have to play better. So, whew. Yes, I'm mad at, at Jerome Booger because I can't stand him. But at the same time, the Niners need to step it up. They, they're going into New Orleans this week. New Orleans is playing well again. And it's going to be hard to beat, beat Drew Brees. And also, one last thing real quick. If that were Peyton Manning, if that were Tom Brady, if that were Drew Brees, that play gets overturned and it's a touchdown. I don't care what anybody says. It has nothing to do with white quarterbacks or anything like that. I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying the star quarterbacks always get the star treatment. If that was Peyton Manning, they would have called that a touchdown. Like, I know they would have called that a touchdown. So it's just, to me, that's just dumb that they do stuff like that. But that's how it is. He, he, you know, Cap's not going to get the star treatment. So, guys, leave, leave me comments in the comment section. Uh, leave me uh, feedback. Let me know what you thought about the Niners, how they played. Let me know about the, what you think about Greg Roman and his crappy offense. And let me know if you think he's even utilizing the players that we have the right way, which is to me he's not. But then again, I'm a fan. That's what fans always do. But you know what? I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of seeing the same old plays every week. Even I know what they're going to run. Even I know what they're going to do. And they still can't do it right. And Cap's got to step it up. Cap has got to learn how to read blitzes and get rid of the ball. If you know they're blitzing, you got to get rid of the ball. And he doesn't do it. He still thinks he can stand the pocket and try to run at the last second when these teams have fast you know, everybody's fast in the NFL. There's not just any slow guys. Even the biggest dudes are fast. Cap's got to learn that he's got to just get rid of the ball. I don't know how he's got to learn. I don't know who's got to talk to, but he's got to learn how to do it. Talk to Joe Montana. Call Steve Young. Do whatever you got to do to figure out how to read these blitzes and do well. So for, uh, for Niner News, JT Magnum signing out. Peace, y'all.